Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Don Jorgensen. And I'm Lauren Solick. A Sioux Falls man is behind bars tonight charged with murder. It's the eighth homicide investigation in Sioux Falls this year. And in this latest shooting, the suspect claimed that he shot a man because he didn't appropriately touch a young child. Police are unable to comment on the allegation, but they are commenting on the shooting. On Friday night, court documents say 30-year-old Dylan Farmer went to the Minnehaha County Jail and tried to turn himself in. He told police he wanted to go to jail because he had shot a man in the face because that man had touched a boy. Farmer also told the officer the victim's name was Casey and that he'd shot him at Arnold's Park, which is a Sioux Falls apartment complex on Bailey Avenue. The police chief says it's not unusual to get false confessions, so police let Farmer go. Around seven hours later, a woman had called police to have a man removed from her apartment on Bailey Avenue, which is northwest of Colville Lake, before she and her child returned home. So when officers arrived on scene, uh, they found a male uh, dead with uh, apparent gunshot wounds inside. That man was identified as 30-year-old Casey Sean Edward Schaefer, who also lived in that apartment. Police say Farmer, Schaefer, and the woman who called police are no strangers. They all knew each other. It's the eighth homicide investigation in Sioux Falls. The chief of police says it's a tragic trend that he doesn't want to see continue. Our aggravated assaults are actually down for the year. Our stolen cars are actually down for the year. All of our major property crimes captions are actually down for the year. So we're year by year, trend by trend, monitoring what happens. And for this year, we have the unfortunate uh, spot to be in a trend where our homicides are trending up. Chief Toome says while they continue to investigate other homicides, including this one, there's a way the community can help turn this trend around. I think responsible gun ownership is not a political issue. I think leaving your gun unlocked in your car is a common sense issue. And if that offends somebody, I'm sorry, right? But it is what it is. Farmer made his first court appearance this afternoon when bond was set at $1 million cash only. Since Farmer made allegations against the victim, we looked into Schaefer's criminal history. He was not charged in connection with this latest allegations and is not on South Dakota's sex offender registry. However, Farmer was charged with rape in 2015. That charge was dismissed, though, as part of a plea deal.